Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So this is another article that I have seen regarding Harry and Meghan's, but this is mainly centered on Harry's never ending delusions of victimhood. And we know that Meghan and Harry have this. In the book, Finding Freedom covers the way in which Harry was plagued with guilt and was distressed at witnessing what he interpreted as racial slurs of his wife Meghan. He felt extremely marginalised having taken this wife of dual biracial heritage and he felt as though she was suffering extreme endemic systematic racism it has also been implied that she even was receiving different treatment to kate within the royal household so he seems to have not only accused the press the british media of treating megan appallingly because she's biracial but he's also implied him and megan that the royal family also treated her appallingly compared to Kate. There have been various leaked comments via Meghan's friends, her vulnerable mother friends, young mother friends, who have said that if Kate had gone through what Meghan went through, the palace would have done this, the palace would have done that, they would have set her defence, they would not have allowed a, B, C and D to happen. But what Meghan really does forget is that Kate and William's relationship spans 20 years. It spans two decades nearly. They dated for 10 years and now they've been married for nine. So we're looking at 20 years next year. How could she compare herself to Kate and expect to be treated the same when Kate is future queen and consort unlike megan she will sit on the throne but not only that kate has earned her stripes despite all of the obvious facts and the negative press that kate did receive while she was dating william she was even dumped by william as well and humiliated it seems as though they have still managed to come off as the victims so this article that I read and I thought I would share with you guys documents the ways in which Harry and Meghan felt as though they were being treated differently. And I summarise this as their never ending victimhood. It's boring, isn't it, guys? Yawn, yawn, yawn. So I'm going to get into it. Harry played with delusions of never ending victimhood. Meghan Markle has guided Harry on a public journey to wokeness, says new book's author. The authors of hotly anticipated new book, Finding Freedom, claim Prince Harry was deeply affected by witnessing wife Meghan fall on an onslaught of racism. Meghan has been a driving force in Prince Harry's woke re-education. And we know that Meghan Markle fancies herself as woke and enlightened possibly in the same vein as michelle obama herself but she is none of those things the author of finding freedom says the duchess of sussex guided her husband on his public journey to become aware of issues like racism the forthcoming tell all book charting the lead up to mexit by omid scooby and carol durand claims a series of rifts with senior royals and courtiers drove a wedge between the sussexes and the royal family. It includes allegations of an icy relationship between Meghan and her sister-in-law, Kate. And I think that that icy relationship does derive from the reasons above. I think there's a hell of a lot of jealousy. There's a hell of a lot of resentment because Kate bagged the future King of England. And I think we all have to thank our lucky stars that Meghan did not bag William. Because that would have been quite tragic considering the way in which things have panned out. 
she would have been spending obscene amounts of money on hair, clothes, shoes and bags and she really would have given the UK a bad name and given the royals a bad name I think the monarchy possibly would have ended if William would have chosen someone like Meghan. Carries on to say it also claims that the couple clashed with the old guard among traditionally minded royal circles who were said to have openly resented waiting on the former suit star. And this is widely reported that she did give a lot of the staff members an extremely hard time. She was, from the looks of it, impossible to work with and very difficult to work with. Mr Scooby told NPR that Meghan had been instrumental in helping her royal husband to rethink the way he saw the world, saying, I think Harry's journey to wokeness has been very public. Hmm. And very embarrassing, hasn't it? We've sort of seen him learning and educating himself along the way. And that is true. Harry has changed quite drastically. But he has not educated himself on what true marginalisation and racism is. I don't think either of them really understand the dexterity of what it's like to be marginalised because of your colour, what it's like to experience racism because of your colour, how it affects every aspect of your life. And for Meghan Markle to have been able to even marry Harry, have the experiences that she's had, she's not someone who I can hand on my heart say has truly ever really experienced marginalization and racism but it seems as though she's married to this victimhood concept but i think it's all a ploy to get what she wants so it carries on to say but this experience of witnessing megan face racist remarks and yeah i can confirm she did have a few racial racially fueled remarks about her in the press by I think there was a radio presenter but he subsequently quickly lost his job I think it was the next day he was fired after he made certain comments on air but it wasn't her whole entire experience for her to have summarized the UK like that is doing us a great disservice and commentary would have been the first time that he ever saw someone in his life or someone that he was particularly close to affected by it in that certain way. The book co-author continued, we talk about some of the more obvious examples in some of the media coverage, but I think the things that have flown under the radar are some of the sort of offering of Megan that we've seen. We've sort of seen it repeatedly that she's not one of us and now what do we mean by not one of us and i think there are things like that which harry's really had to become more attuned to and learn to see when it happens in front of him and megan would have been the person that guided him on that journey a spokesperson for harry and megan has previously said the couple did not contribute to finding freedom but he did not deny the content of published extracts. This book basically implies, written by Omid and Carol, implies that Harry changed somewhat towards his own personal upbringing and his own preconceived ideas of what the world was after marrying Meghan Dearest, or should I say, the Megsy. What Meghan and Harry seem to have forgotten is that Meghan was not a direct victim of racism. What she was, was a victim of possibly extremely harsh scrutiny and criticism in the media and in the public eye but if you look at a-list culture celebrity culture or anyone who's in the media even your politicians they suffer this indictment they suffer extreme 
scrutiny. They suffer the pressures of being in the public eye, which is pretty darn normal. It's very normal if you're a public figure to go through that process and it's not always nice. It seems as though Megan could not handle the heat of being in the spotlight. And not only that, she had her family members who were particularly angry with her in the background, insulting her, slagging her off, essentially putting her down and asking her, using the public forum to find out why she had not visited her dad in a long time, why she cut them off, what they had done wrong and really highlighting her shortcomings, which she did not like. That's what the media really had to fill day with. Her poor relationship with her dad, her sister, her brother. They exploited that and they would exploit that. If Kate had her mum on TV every single week talking about why she wasn't allowed to the wedding or her dad, they would have had a field day with it. There's no possible way that they would not have had a field day with it. So that was Megan's true cross to bear. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and I'll be back with another video. That's what I personally think. I think it's delusions of victimhood for Harry. He needs to pull his bootstraps up and stop being a lovesick puppy. Bye, guys.